She's falling through the cracks. A Virginia woman left her well-paying job to be with her children who are home learning virtually because their caregiver was diagnosed with cancer. She's not sure where to turn for help, but says in more than two months, she's not heard a word from the VEC. I've worked all my life. I've never tried to get anything for free. I haven't used any kind of assistance before and I was really naive. I thought, okay, I'll be okay. You know, I'll file for unemployment and I'll be okay. Until February, Kanini Mungal was a restaurant manager in Hampton making a good salary. Her two young children were at home with Kanini's mom, the six-year-old boy attending kindergarten two days a week on a hybrid schedule, the 10-year-old girl in the Virginia home school program because Kanini said Hampton schools kept starting and stopping. But when her mom was diagnosed with cancer, Kanini's world fell apart. She had to leave her job to be at home with her children. That's when she turned to the Virginia Employment Commission. I've tried to be right on the phone at 8 a.m. It's uh, it's busy and they don't leave you the option to hold. So they'll just say, you know, all representatives are busy. Call back later. And the, it hangs up on you. Um, and I have written I wrote an email every day for about three weeks. It's a problem we've heard about from countless viewers and CBS 6 Facebook friends. The weeks-long, sometimes months-long torment that is trying to talk to a human being at the VEC. But because she left her job and was not let go, Kanini's predicament is different from the typical pandemic-related layoff. So I asked VEC spokeswoman Joyce Fogg via email whether anyone in Kanini's position could qualify for unemployment benefits. Fogg replied, it will have to be a adjudicated and Department of Labor guidelines are there for these types of issues. But Kanini still hasn't heard that from the VEC. It's been hard it's, and it's scary. It's very scary. I don't know what's going to happen next and I'm not getting any answers. So keeps you up at night. You're not you're not sure what's going to happen next. Virginia Beach employment lawyer Lisa Bertini says people like Kanini are in a tough spot. There is so little social net for folks like her. It is heartbreaking, but not covered by the laws in place right now, Bertini wrote via email. Women have been disproportionately affected by this pandemic. I checked with one of Kanini's state legislators, and an aide in Senator Mamie Locke's office told me they would forward Kanini's case to the VEC, but that could still take another week. Thank God for the rent relief programs right now because that's the only reason why I still have my roof over my head. And right now I have to use food stamps to get food. Um, so I have n nothing. Kanini Mungle says because she earned more than the children's fathers, she has been responsible for child support. Now she says they are helping, but it's not close to being enough. And this coming Tuesday, a special edition of The Rebound. CBS 6 examines the unemployment crisis in Virginia. From complaints against the VEC to a class action lawsuit to the latest data and studies that show how the Commonwealth compares to the rest of the country. Watch our complete in-depth coverage starting on the CBS 6 News at 5 p.m. Tuesday. And of course, if you're having issues with the VEC, first of all, you got a lot of company. Second of all, you can reach out to the problem solvers for help.